Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe today. Indeed, it's a new day. And we got a what? We got a banger. 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 Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, you know I have a banger for you guys today. I've been away from uploading. Because I've been focused on personal things on my life concerning my life. Sorry for not uploading for the for at least I think maybe a week. This week and what I have coming up for you guys is definitely a banger. So if you guys have not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. The intro is always lit. You guys already know it. But hey, today I'm gonna be crochet needling or dry crochet needling my dreadlocks. Before we get into the video, you guys know what to do. If you guys have not checked out my by the way my TikTok. I have TikTok now, and I'm gonna be posting like funny content on there. Uh, so if you guys, you know, so you can go check it out. Same thing, Activerse, and then Instagram. You know, what I'm saying I don't get on Snapchat. Uh, check that out, and then we have also the Verse family. You guys know that that thing is funny as heck. But before we get into the video, here is intro. Intro. can see I'm about to hit 20k and 20k can present itself with a new whole look to me so for those of you guys that are excited for that make sure you stay tuned because at 20k I'm gonna be doing something to my hair and the OGs will know what it is actually may not know nobody mean I have nobody knows actually but yeah 20k about to hit there thank you guys so much for that this is what my locks looking like right now this is literally the before, basically. Take it down. I'm about to split up some of these, you know what I'm saying, some of these connections. What I'm gonna start doing is, uh, basically, I'm gonna start, of course, from the front. And as you guys can see this, this is what I'm talking about. These are like all the new growth that I got, all the roots that you guys can see. And sometimes you can just do uh, just the front part right here, and uh, you know the rest of it you can just like you know detangle it, and and then maybe just like do uh, a few rib twists. And if that's like you know uh, you feel in the rush and stuff like that, you don't want to really take that time uh, to crochet either everything. You know what I'm saying? You just make sure that it's split from the other locks by itself, and then you fix the front and then ponytail and stuff like that and this whole thing will look good the rest will be like you know a little bit afro dreads and i've done a video on afro dreads afro dread is basically where you have an afro on the bottom and dread and i've done a video on that and if you guys want to check that out make sure you click up here or something it may pop up so with the stuff that i got right now going on what i uh would start off is in the front and i want to make sure it's clean and also i'm gonna be cutting my hair So guys, uh, this is you know a bunch of uh, extra hair because I used to. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen the video, but I used to cut this down to get that line up. You know, everybody be doing. I decided to connect it with this dreadlock, so I've been growing these out for like close to six months. So this is like a six months growth, and now it's gonna be crochet needled to where it's connected to the rest of my hair.
this is what it's looking like so far. Real tight and neat at the end of it. See how it looks clean. And uh, of course, you won't be seeing the section as good as when you do a regular retwist. But this is actually, you know what I'm saying? This is actually hooked all the way through. Right there, boom. So I'm halfway done right now. This is what it looks like. Woohoo, it looks clean. I'm gonna keep going and finish the rest. Alright guys, I just got done uh, doing my uh, dry retwist and I want to show you what it looks like since it's dry retwisted with a crochet needle I, It doesn't matter if I take it off, you know what I'm saying, the ponytail or whatever uh, It's all like, you know, up to the root You don't want to hit the root too much because then you're going to end up uh, hitting some of the hair you don't want to, you know what I'm saying Or you're going to end up like ripping out some hair you don't want to as you guys can see, my whole hair is like literally connected right here. Like the new growth is connected to that, which I may lay some of them down and make a, uh, a good hairline out of it because you see I was thinning right here. And basically, the main, of, the main dread is connected to this, so I'm not too worried if I didn't do that because this is the problem that people usually get with dreadlocks. They you know, keep cutting this part of the hair and then you know, they keep lining it up and they keep getting pushed back and it gets all the way up to here because you know you gotta keep brushing it down and I made a video on that also. So I already know what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna cut my hair now, uh, do the tapers on the sides and on the back for an easy cut and fix my uh, facial hair up. No shave November is not really not really a thing for me. Uh, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna end up just shaping it up and stuff. I'm not gonna shave fully, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shape it up and stuff like that so it can look presentable uh, for, the week so yeah this is what my hair looks like this is like almost a 20 let's see 23 months update basically of november next month will be my second year the end of next year uh, the, the end of next month will be my second year having my dreadlocks and it's been a journey got how long my dreadlock is and it's all curled up right now so once i wash it you guys will see how long it actually is right now it's curled up and that's why it looks like this uh, you know, for those of you guys that like to rock it down, you guys will look decent with the curl, you know what I'm saying, with the curl going on. As you guys can see, this thing is like solid, like it's thick on the bottom, of course, because that's where the roots start. Like that's a bunch of hair combined together. And it's skinnied out because I did a two strand twist recently. Uh, if you guys have not seen that video, check that out. Literally how, this is how I got my hair to curl up. So that's what you guys want to do, you guys do that. But now we're going to cut my hair and then we're going to be right back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that fresh, fresh, fresh look and retwist. And you can see like literally the dread going up from all the way to the bottom. A lot of people were actually giving me compliments today. They're like, oh, nice dreads, nice dreads. Because of the style I had it, I guess. Um, you know what I'm saying? And then, as y'all see my face, it looks way better, right? Shade, basically, this part of the face. Uh, right here, I, you know, lowered it down. And I came with the razor also to kind of, like, give it that um, bald, 
look to it, like like almost like I had no hair. You can kind of tell I have hair right here, but and you kind of tell I don't have much hair right there. But the, you know, what I'm saying the razor kind of evens it out, so I'm personally can't really tell the details. And then I shaped up my um, shaped up my beard to look like that. And then my hairstyle is actually to where it's like a ponytail, and I pushed it towards the back, and I pulled the top, uh, the front tops, so that you can see it from the front. And uh, I use this like technique usually to to make sure that you know whenever I'm taking picture and stuff like that like this uh, It doesn't look like I have no dreads, you know because sometimes whenever you put a ponytail It goes all the way back and you look like you have a short hair. Oh my god. What happened to your hair? Uh, versus whenever you pull it up boom Up top that's a quick tip for y'all boom And you kind of see it already, you know what I'm saying and then I get myself a little taper fade if you guys want a tutorial on it, I haven't brushed it, of course. This is this happened yesterday, uh, but when you brush it, of course, it comes out even, and on this side also. So let me go get a brush so I can show you guys what the taper looks like. Boom. And like I said, if you guys want a tutorial on that, y'all let me know, man. And there it comes out even. And then my hairline, of course, I don't touch much. I just grab literally all of my hair up and then the baby hair's down. Same with this side and that's it. I kept on going up, you know, you kind of see right here that everything that I grew right here connected to that dread. That's why it looks like it's kind of like missing something. It's not missing anything. It's just a regular um, uh, hair hairline. That's what it looks like, basically. Thank you guys for watching this video, but to next time, keep acting reverse and creating your universe, I'm Activerse, and I'm out. Stay tuned! Ye did?